and also exhaust gas is emitted. If you have to control the socks, control the sulfur capacity over here. The following video is a part of the Dreamer package. In case you find the video helpful and want to watch more such videos like boiler draught system, smoke tube boilers, water steam hammering, boilers and their types, etc. Find the link of the Dreamer package in the description box below. You can also check out our courses on MerchantNavyDecoded.com. All the content on the Merchant Navy Decoded website aims at helping you get selected in a good shipping company or college, helping you get faster promotions, but most importantly, guide you to earn respect on ship. I am going to talk about IC emissions. IC engine mein emissions. So, abhi recently RTO got a lot of rules made, and everybody was making long lines, especially in Dehradun, for getting their pollution certificate. And what that guy was doing was he was putting a sensor inside my exhaust chamber from where the exhaust is coming out. And he was checking and he was giving me a certificate what, with what all the contents are there in my gases which have been emitted. Right? So when I talk about emissions, I am talking about the emissions when my activa is running, the dhuma, the gas which is coming out. When my bike is running, the gas which is coming out, which is at times black, sometimes little bit white, sometimes bluish maybe. And similarly, when we are on ship and our internal combustion engines are running, combustion takes this bump and a lot of gas is emitted. Right? So out here in India, our RT or government of India makes a lot of rules for us. Everybody is going to get their pollution certificate checked. And everybody was starting standing in the line 100 rupees, but at least we will not get fined. Out there in shipping industry, there is a rule made by IMO, Indian International Maritime Organization. It is like government of India for India. And the rule comes like the pollution certificate rule comes under the uh, transport department. This rule comes under the MARPOL thing, which is marine pollution. Once you go on ship, you will have a lot to know about MARPOL and there are a lot of annexes. One is regarding oil pollution, one is regarding chemical pollution, one is regarding liquid chemicals pollution, one is regarding garbage pollution, one is regarding sewage pollution, one is regarding air pollution. So over here, we are interested in air pollution on ship. So, bhai, jab main baat karna, I'm talking about air pollution, there are a lot of things. See, first of all, we have to know ki why, what are these emissions actually, what is happening? So first of all, when I burn, this is my engine, right? And in engine, internal combustion takes place. First of all, I need air, which has got 21% oxygen and approximately 78% nitrogen. Rest little bit miscellaneous. I have got fuel oil, which is to be burnt, which has got 97% hydrocarbons. And 3% sulfur. Now, guys, this sulfur is varying. The value that I am writing over here is deliberately because I have to talk about socks, knocks, and all those things. But again, remember, marble is playing a big role in this sulfur capacity, which I'll be discussing later. So let us take an assumption. But earlier, maybe just a few years back, it was sulfur was up till 4%, 4.5%, okay? Just now, say a month back, like I am making this video in the month of December, okay? In the month of December, so till 31st of December, it is maximum till 3.5%, so it is still valid. It is still valid, okay? So fuel oil has got 97% hydrocarbons and 3% sulfur. And apart from that, we are burning lube oil. A very little quantity of lube oil is getting burned over here, which is again got 97% hydrocarbons, 2.5% calcium, and say approximately 0.5% sulfur. But this lube oil is 
consumed in a very little quantity because this is just for lubrication between the cylinder liner and piston approximately say 160 liters a day if the engine is quite big for 24 hours but the fuel oil might be consumed say up to 30 tons 3 30000 kg per 24 hours over here and guys always remember when you have to burn fuel i'll be talking about this you need air that is oxygen you need fuel and you need high temperature so once you get air you get fuel and of course this lube oil for lubrication what happens explosion takes place due to which first of all work is done that is in rotating the propeller a lot of heat is produced around the liner and also exhaust gas is emitted now in ic engines approximately 40% say efficiency which is very good 30% is converted into heat this heat is a death dissipated by the cooling water across the cylinder liner in the jacket and rest 30% energy this is the enthalpy which this exhaust gas is having now this exhaust gas has a lot of contents now this exhaust gas has got 13% oxygen 75.8% nitrogen so oxygen which was 21% has become 13% carbon dioxide has increased to 5.2% dangerous global warming as soon as you see co2 global warming h2o 5.35% water vapor nothing to worry about now this no2 worry i'll talk about it later 1500 ppm ppm means parts per million 600 ppm so2 something to worry about 60 ppm co carbon monoxide guys again something to worry about and 180 ppm particulate matter now all these gases you know you might not know what particulate matter and what is that some gas is emitted take a filter paper and put over there you see some dirt over there carbonaceous material black black thing on the filter paper that is this particulate matter, matter which is unburnt okay got it so this is something that we have got in exhaust now so2 is coming because of sulfur over here so let's first talk about so2 socks guys when i talk about socks so2 if so2 is formed further it oxidizes into so3 as well sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide now what happens is if this sulfur dioxide and sulfur dioxide is more or whatever amount is there it goes into the atmosphere combines with water vapor and fire and forms sulfuric acid which causes acid rain dangerous for the atmosphere for people like us we don't want that to happen so earlier and the sulfur that is coming mostly from fuel because every day we are burning this much fuel you boys is very less right so earlier the sulfur percentage capacity was up to 4.5% years back then few years back it was up to 3.5% now it has been further reduced to 0.5% from 1st january 2020 ab agar ye 0.5% ho jayega what will happen your sulfur dioxide form over here will reduce sulfur trioxide will reduce and consequently your acid rain chances will reduce a lot got it guys this is about socks now when i talk about nox nitrogen 78% nitrogen normally no2 
और एन टू ओ नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड दीज गैसेज आर नॉट फॉर्म अंटिल एंड अनलेस टेम्परेचर रीच इज अप टू ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड डिग्रीज फेर नाइट इन साइड द कंबस्टन चैम्बर वंस द टेम्परेचर इन साइड कंबस्टन चैम्बर रीच इज अप टू दिस टेम्परेचर देन एट सच अ हाई टेम्परे प्रेशर दिस नाइट्रोजन डीकम्पोज इन टू एनओ टू एंड एन टू ओ विच इज नॉक्स Now this again, NOx is dangerous because first of all it forms smog. You must be remembering a few days back the condition in Delhi was like a gas chamber. Nobody was being able to breathe. That is a smog. And further, it can combine with water molecules, water vapors forming nitric acid, causing acid rain again. Right, guys? So this is what we have to remember. Out here for engine in this case, in sulfur case, you have to make sure that you use sulfur of less capacity. See, guys, long before this sulfur cap of 4.5 percent was there, even 3 percent was there, 3.5 percent was there. Still, in developed countries like in Europe, there was a restriction with the name of ECA, which is called emission. Control areas. They said, "See, we do not want our atmosphere to get dirty." So, in those areas, in emission control areas, maybe since 2010, guys, I really do not remember the exact date. Find out on net, you get it. In emission control areas, ECAs, we are called. They are called. We cannot use fuel of sulfur content more than 0.1 percent. That was long time back, but now since twenty twenty, even all over the world, sulfur capacity like now in India everywhere it has reduced to point five percent. So if you have to control the SOX, control the sulfur capacity over here. When I talk about NOX, we have to make sure that the temperature inside does not increase more than twenty seven hundred degrees Fahrenheit. So. Some design changes are incorporated to make sure the temperature does not rise. Well, we are not here to discuss about that. Okay. And lastly, I have to talk about CO2. I have to talk about CO and particulate matter. See, guys, all these things depend upon proper combustion, good thermal efficiency. If your combustion is being a very good combustion, if your if, if a very good combustion is taking place in your chamber, proper combustion is taking place. your fuel is of very good quality very good viscosity proper atomization accurate amount of oil air is there proper combustion is taking place then in that case particulate matter will reduce a lot because proper combustion is taking place have you seen sometimes a black smoke is coming and you say yaar gaadi ko theek karao get it done properly get it service that is because improper combustion is taking place And if you put a filter paper, you will find it getting all sooty, all dirty because of excessive particulate matter. Similarly, when I talk about CO2 and CO, guys, understand they are going to come. They are going to cause global warming. So what to do? The whole world is changing over to electrical cars. Tesla is coming, right? Slowly, slowly, so that CO2 is emitted less. So in our shipping industry. What do we do so that we ensure that CO2 is formed less? Moreover, CO2 does not get further oxidized into CO, which is more fatal, more toxic, more dangerous. So what we do is, in this case, we have to try to burn less fuel, right? So how do we do that? Like suppose I have to go from here to from Mumbai to New York. Again, an example. If I maintain my engine in a very good condition, I take good care of it, proper maintenance. That means my engine is going to give me very good performance. So, if in one ton of fuel I was going say just 15 nautical miles earlier, after doing proper maintenance, now I will be going 80 nautical miles. So basically, I am con consuming less fuel for the same distance, less CO2 emissions. Very good. Second thing is better planning. Suppose I know I have to go to this area and out here there is a very bad weather. 
If I go from here, it is going to take me a lot of many days. So I go from some other place. I consume less fuel. So that is how by better planning, by better management on ship, we make sure that less CO2 and CO is consumed. Matlab less CO2 and CO is formed. That is by consuming less fuel and that can be done by maintaining your engines in very good condition and by proper planning. I hope guys, this is clear, this is clear and this is clear. Lastly, they can ask you, okay, yaar, you are sending outside. See, as a chief engineer, when I go and take engine room round, I go mostly and check outside the funnel, what is the color of the smoke. That gives you a very good indication. If the smoke is black, improper combustion. Improper combustion. Something is wrong. Either fuel is going more or air is going less. And why I am saying that? See guys, when I talk about air and fuel, you have to understand there is a, a very important stoichiometric ratio which needs to maintain so that proper combustion takes place. If fuel is more, air is less, improper combustion. If air is more, fuel is less, still impo improper combustion. And that ratio is 1 is to 14. For 1 kg of fuel, you need approximately 14 kg of air. Okay guys? Kg of air. Not meter cube. Kg of air. Black smoke, improper combustion. Either air is more or either fuel is more. The ratio is not there. Brown smoke means NOx formation. Temperature is going too high over air. Something is wrong. Find out where is the problem. Copy it guys. Blue smoke, lube oil carry over. The lube oil in the system is getting carried over. This can happen especially in the case of generators where there is splash lubrication. So the oil can get carried over along with the exhaust gas and you will have light bluish tinge, bluish tinge out there. So you know that lube oil is being carried over, we find out what's the reason. And if you have white smoke, it can be because there is water in the system, in the exhaust and which is getting converted into steam. So the steam color is white. That is why. And how can water come in? Suppose your liner gets cracked and little bit water is coming in. You do not come immediately, come to know. In that case, if water is coming in during the combustion, it is getting evaporated because of high temperature, but the color of the exhaust is changing. And this I am talking about very less water and it is still it is very dangerous. You want to know and find out. Okay guys, copy it. So this is enough as far as emissions is concerned. I think so I have talked about all the important parts. Jai Madhadi. If you found the video helpful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To watch more such technical videos, click on the playlist given on the screen and find the link of the Dreamers package in the description box below. Thank you.